Earrings are my weakness. I love making all kinds of earrings. I named this waterfall earrings because the falling chain remind me of waterfall. And don't you worry, it's not even that hard to make. Want to win this earring? Stay by the end of the video to learn a chance to win it. Alrighty, let's begin. Here are some tools and materials that you will need for this project. If you missed that, don't worry, it's going to be listed in the info box. The measurement is for one earring, so if you need to make a pair, just double it. You will also need some wire. I like to use smaller wire so that it looks very delicate. First, we're going to learn how to make a burlap wrap. Take your 24 gauge wire and flat nail plier bent to make a L shape. Add the crystal of your choice. Bend the other end of the wire or simply pinch them together. Separate the wire to make it into a L shape. Bend the center wire a little bit to make sure that it's straight. Leave enough space for movement. Hold your flat nose plier on the cross wire and start wrapping. How many times that you want to wrap it is really up to you, but I like to wrap it twice. Take your cutter and cut the excess material off. Be sure to tuck in any sharp ends of the wire. Make a small bend at the top of the wrap. Use your round nose plier to make a loop. Be sure to wrap it all the way around. Cut the excess material off by using a color. Very easy to make, huh? Moving on to the clothing hanger looking thingy. <laughs> You're gonna use 2 inch 22 gauge wire. Grab the end of the wire by using your round nose plier and start rolling. Stop when the tip of the wire rounds up with the other wire. Do the same to the other end but be sure the loops are facing the same direction. Use a ruler to find the center point of the wire. Place the wire to the center of the barrel and wrap one end of the wire towards the other. And this is how it should look. Wrap the other end of the wire towards the opposite side. It kind of looks like a hanger without the hook. Take out your pre-cut chains. Open one of the loop by twisting it up. By twisting it, you will not deform the shape of the loop. Start adding the chain by longest one first. Be sure you have them in the right order. If not, your chain will not have that waterfall effect. Twist the ring back to close it. Open the other loop and start placing the chains to it starting with the longest one first. This technique is very easy to do and it gives off a very elegant result. Close the opening to secure it. crystal to the center. Open the jump ring and place it at the center loop. Remember to add a ear wire before closing the jump ring. Now you're finished. I told you it wasn't gonna be that hard. Some of these custom earrings are very expensive, but you can save quite a bit by doing it yourself. Tell me what kind of earrings you like and like this video, you're instantly into a chance to win this earring. When it will be announced in next week's video, so be sure to come back. If you try any of my projects, please share with me on my Facebook. I would love to see them. Congratulations to last week's winner. Thank you all for participating. May you be happy.